opening speech and after this Arbel Prize laureate Dennis Panel Sullivan will lay down the wreath by the monument. Finally, the ceremony is over when the president of the Academy of Science and Letters, Lisa Övros, has given you information about the program this week and the musicians have played the Apple Fanfare. Thank you. Dear Laureate, Preses, international colleagues, dear all, I will begin by thanking the Albu Laureates who are present for coming to this week's, uh, the Albu Week this year, and the celebrations in Oslo. The last two years we could not travel. We gather here uh, at the Abel statue. It symbolizes the genius Abel, his thought power, revolutionary discoveries, the little young athlete of the theories. His ideas which found new avenues of mathematics. A fine mathematician. Abel was an equally noble person. Heart likened lovable human. Another sculpture shows how he looked like. Modest in appearance, sitting, thinking. This model is placed on the mathematics complex at the University of Oslo campus Blindern, where the Abel lectures will be given on Wednesday this week. Nils Henrik Abel was born in 1802, developed his mathematics in a life filled with poverty and died of tuberculosis when he was 26 and a half years old. Abel was a disciple at the cathedral school in what is now the city of Oslo. When he was uh, 16, the school got an outstanding maths teacher, Holmbo. Before that, Abel was just an ordinary student in mathematics. Holmbo, however, discovered Abel's talent for mathematics and supervised him in the reading of the works of Euler. Thereafter, Abel was self-taught. At the age of 18, and we know this from uh, Abel's notebooks, Abel became working, became working on the quinting equation with outcome to the advent of group theory. 
Abel laid the groundwork for his mathematics in the late teens and early twenties. Abel sought the full stringency, the full generality. Abel's mathematics and ideas were ahead of his time. He sent his proof to Gauss, who did not respond. He presented his work on the elliptical functions for the French Academy. This is what is later referred to as Abel's Paris dissertation, which also contains his great theorem. This should be evaluated by Cauchy and Le Gendre, however, they forgot it all. And Abel thought it was lost forever. Still, Abel's works won reputation both in France and Germany. These news reached him and were to his pleasure in what was going to be his last year of living. Abel corresponded with Legendre, but way too restrained on his own behalf, and never asked Legendre to, for, for the evaluation of his own work, which he two, his two years had presented, years earlier had presented in Paris. His teacher Holmbo was eventually preferred as university lecturers in Oslo. A position where Abel was candidate to. As a fine human Abel was, he congratulated sincerely his friend with the appointment. However, there was no position for Abel. In letters Abel wrote, I'm poorer than a church rat. If he was bedridden, and his friends were around, asking for him, he answered, I'm dark. By the way, Abel enjoyed the card play. He beat his colleagues because he counted and calculated. A rising star after his death was what Abel became. Words like consternation, pain and that Abel was wronged were used by his contemporaries here in Norway. Efforts were taken to promote Abel's memory. The Abel centennial and bicentennial were celebrated by the official and mathematical uh, Norway. And Abel Loret Dennis came to Oslo and helped celebrate the Abel legacy in 2002. Thank you. The Abel Prize was established and we are now at the 20th edition. With His Majesty the King and the government in the lead, Norway's nation promotes and honor the idea and expression of mathematics. The Abel Prize, moreover, supports the Holmbo Prize for maths teachers and the Abel competition and young Abel for nine graders. And this morning, the Abel Laureate met with the young winners. Thank you very much. guest. On behalf of the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letters, I would like to thank you all for attending this ceremony at the Abel Monument. Last time we were here to carry out this event was in 2019. Today is the first day of the Abel Prize Week, a week with several events honoring excellence in mathematics. We started this morning at Oslo Cathedral awarding the Volvo Prize, a prize that promotes and rewards good teaching in mathematics. Tomorrow, Abel Prize laureate Dennis Sullivan will receive the Abel Prize from His Majesty King Harvard V in the University of Oslo. In the evening, the government is hosting the Abel Banquet at Akatus Castle for invited guests. On Wednesday, the Abel Lecture would
the University of Oslo. The event is open for everybody from 10 in the morning and it starts with Dennis Sullivan giving his lecture. The Nobel Prize event ends on Wednesday evening at the Norwegian Academy of Science and Letter, which holds the Nobel party for invited guests. A warm welcome to all of you to the Nobel Prize week. Use the idea that I wanted to write many good papers. Usually, write just 